This is Fabulous Gandalf, and this is a message from our sponsor. Armor One, base city's first choice in heavy infantry exo armor. Hey, how's it going guys? Ricky Summer here, and today I've come back in time to introduce you to Fabulous Gandalf, my melee mage. He's an astrologer, he's pumped mostly into intelligence, and he's a melee build. <laughs> the secret, I'll tell you right now, Carrion Slicer. So listen, a little bit of backstory. I started with the prisoner with the view of doing mason magic. And that was cool. Make no mistake, I love maces. I felt like I was spread a little bit too thin. Now I'm not saying you can't make that work and I will go back and polish that concept eventually, but I wanted to try something a little more focused I wanted to play around with magic a little bit more because Magic Man is a contender this time around, <laughs> unlike any other Souls game beforehand. So let me show you what we've got. We're the Astrologer this time, and I'm going to hide my camera here real quick, and I'm going to show you the stats. All right, we're currently level 31, Vigor at 18, Mind at 20, Intelligence at 26. Those are the only three stats I've touched. I started off by pumping like straight up all the way up to 24 intelligence. And then I went mind and then I'm like, yo, I'm a little squishy. <laughs> I better pump some vigor. So that's what I did. My current goal is vigor 20 because that seems to be the general consensus recommendation in the community. And after that, then I'm just going to default to pumping it intelligence and then mind and vigor when I feel I need it. And then probably endurance eventually, right? For the stam. When, I, when, I, when I'm running low on that as well. But listen, let me tell you. Carrion Slicer with Glintstone Pebble as like the backup for range, for taking out aerial lords and, and picking off lowly boys to thin the herd. And then if you aggro the big group, Glintstone Arc to really like thin everyone out, chop them down to size. This man is unstoppable. I mean, I'm melting bosses that I seriously struggled with previously. So there are some compromises that you have to make when you're using carry and slicer instead of a proper melee weapon. So obviously that's dope, right? Just a real simple quick two blep. Uh, so, so something that you need to get used to is the timing of it. You may notice that carry and slicer, this is just a quick attack, right? It doesn't have a heavy attack. A heavy attack is just whacking with the staff. Um, and, and that being said, the staff that I have is the Demi-Human Queen's staff. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm wary of spoilers here. I, I feel like if you, if you guys really want to know specific things, like where to get specific spells and items, like the wiki is very, very clear. It's got map links and everything. For the sake of avoiding spoilers, I'm sticking to this area in particular, and I won't go into too much detail here. I'm just sort of showing off, you know, what, what this, this dude can do. So, you've only got one attack with Karen Slicer, and it's got that little bit of a wind-up. Like, it's enough to throw you off sometimes, so you have to be careful, you have to get used to that. But, after that, it's just big pogs, it's fast. Like, the combo is fast and relentless, man. And, yeah, like, I've had some trouble with the, the AI invasions, but just getting that first shot off, once I get into the rhythm of it, it's da ba 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 and they done man like it's <laughs> it's quite a thing and i got a shield as well because because i just like the idea of like a heavily armored mage with with a shield and a, and a staff yeah i just i just love that aesthetic i mean like let's be real here i'm building for aesthetic and then figuring out how to make it work <laughs> sometimes shield lords can be an issue Sometimes. <laughs> so speaking of Shield Lords, one alteration I would love to, or I wish I could make to the build, is having the, the Magical Glint Blade. That comes with the Prisoner class, but not with Astrologer. So that's the thing that you cast it, there's a delay, and then it shoots. I find that's really, really good for taking out shielded enemies, especially like this big lord who's who's at the, the front of the situation over here. You can cast it, bait the enemy out, they're focused on you, then the glint blade will stab him in the back where their shield is not, you know? 
Uh, so for, for all the trouble you may have cutting through the shield, which I feel like is actually less of an issue in general with Carrion Slicer, it seems to almost bypass shields in a weird way. I'm not too sure how that works. Um, but, but if you had the, the Glintstone Blade here, you could just keep whacking them in, in the back and you wouldn't even have to bother with a shield, you know? So that's really handy. So if you, if you really wanted to get that sort of situation going, um, you could start with a prisoner, but you know, I started with the astrologer as I said, um, and I'm not I'm not too mad about that You can get the the glint blade, but it's much much later on. It's past the starting area Unfortunately, uh, so I haven't quite quite gotten to that yet. So I currently have four Cerulean flasks and three crimson and that's getting me by just fine uh, the beauty of carrion slicer is it's like high damage and low FP costs. I mean, just look, look at look at the FP meter. It sips. It absolutely sips compared to even Glintstone Pebble, which is pretty cheap. And then Glintstone Arc, you know, a little bit more again. It's like, it's an unbelievable ability. And the true beauty of it is just the fact that it allows me to pump 100% almost into intelligence and that's that's my full damage right there <laughs> it's absolutely absurd so another downside you got to be wary of is mounted combat unfortunately so yeah it works as you can see but it won't work on the other side so for those who don't know because i've actually seen there's quite a lot of basic mechanics that either aren't explained or just so easy to miss that a surprising amount of people just just don't know about this stuff. But yeah, um, the, the left trigger will, will whack down on the left side of the horse and the right trigger will, will smack down on, on the right. So carrion blade will only work on the right. And again, only with a quick attack because it doesn't have a heavy attack. So that's a little bit awkward. You can get around it. You just always circle to the right. So that's fine. But you know, you're not quite as equipped as, you know, if you had a, a regular melee weapon. And you know, that's, that's, I, I'm not too mad about that because it's not a regular melee weapon and it makes up for it with a ridiculous damage and, and combo as well Something else that's a little unfortunate again on horseback is For those who don't know hang on. Let me just set this up correctly um, For those who don't know if you hold the heavy attack and just run past You'll do damage without having to let it go, which is great. It's fantastic for taking out big groups of enemies You can't do that with um with the carrion slicer unfortunately but again, I mean, it's so pogged out of its gourd. <laughs> no, sir. That was my fault. It's fine. I'll sip in your face as you fall to the floor. Look, if you have a big, like, if you've got a situation like this, I'm not concerned. But if you've got a few individuals, like, riled up here, <laughs> you know, the arc will get it done. And like this, like, I, I feel very much like a mage still. This is not, this is not like a half-assed melee build, nor is it a half-assed mage. I feel like a full-blooded mage because I am a full-blooded mage. Just, could a full-blooded mage do that? I think not. <laughs> All right, guys. So if I missed anything, you let me know in the comments. I'll be there answering questions if you want. But otherwise, I, I, I want to hear about your builds. I, I want to hear what you were planning, what went right, what went wrong. You know, maybe things that you would do differently next time. And, and give me your thoughts on, on Elden Ring. I'm, I'm very mildly addicted. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Be excellent to each other. And I'll see you next time. Ricky Summer. Out.